Today I'm listening to Floor Janssen sing Nemo. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bobby with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. This video is brought to you by Groove Digital. Groove Digital is a suite of products that includes all the tools you need to run your online business without having to worry about managing the multiple subscriptions to a variety of services every month. It's a one-stop shop for things like brand websites with full navigation, custom domain names, and the ability to sell your products and services online no matter where you live in the world. You can get your online business started with Groove. Take a closer look for yourself and pick up your free account when you click on my affiliate link in the description box below. This video is also brought to you by enthusiastic voice lovers just like you. Thank you. Well, if Flor Janssen is the singer that I've listened to more than anyone else on this channel, Nemo is the song I've listened to more than any other song. There are so many versions of this song that Flor has done, and I've listened to quite a few of them. I know I haven't listened to all of them, but I will be leaving cards for them right up here. You'll see them flashing if you want to listen to any of my other reactions to this song. On uh, the premiere for Storm in the Glass, one of you mentioned that this was your favorite song from the entire concert. So I'm really interested to listen to this version of Nemo, which Floor performed at her solo concert live in Amsterdam in 2021. She is putting up songs one at a time on her YouTube channel very generously because I think this was a crowd-funded event. I'm really looking forward to listening to this. Let's dig in. Another feel all together. Cool. really interesting. I like the slower tempo. We've talked about this before that the bass may be a little bit hot in the mix, so it is adding an extra level of oomph. What, uh, what's a way to say it? I don't know. Anyway, it's just a little loud and a little boomy there at the bottom. A weightiness is what it's adding, I guess is what I would be saying. In any case, I'm appreciating this fresh look at a song that she has sung many different ways. It's so interesting, isn't it, how just the arrangement can add so much to the entire performance. And so I'm really looking forward to hearing what happens next as they build and grow um, on this theme. Oh, how I reach for Love that piano players. Something that I think is really interesting is because because the tempo is slower, she actually has time to really emote in a way that she couldn't in some of the other versions. It goes at such a fast clip that 
she's just kind of getting it out and you go on to the next thing. And I think as a singer, sometimes it is nice for us to be able to have these songs where you actually have time to breathe. A lot of pieces of music, especially in more classical pieces, you just wonder if the composer even thought of the fact that the human singer would have to breathe. Sometimes you just don't know where you could fit a breath in. It literally is going at such a fast pace. So it's really nice to hear her. And because she's doing it as a soloist and it's her concert, it's nice that she has the ability to make these decisions that she wants to actually sing Nemo and be able to breathe <laughs> while she's singing it. And it's adding so much to it too. I feel like there's a, a level of intensity in the emotion of the piece that I haven't heard before. It's very layered in a new way on a heart level. And so I think, bravo, that is fantastic. Really, really nice touch and change to this piece of music. Oh, how I wish for a soothing thing. Our life wishes to dream again. My love and heart, though still die. For a hope I'd give my every day. Oh, how I wish for yeah. a soothing Good. Oh, I'm excited to get into this interlude. It's going to be really good. It is really interesting, isn't it? She's got this kind of, I keep wanting to say the word gossamer. It's like this, this diaphanous kind of sound where it's very light and airy, juxtaposed with this more intense, soft, but intense instrumentation. And even the background vocals have a weight to them and their harmonies are a little bit uh, close and I don't want to say dissonant but definitely they're not lending a lightness and an airiness kind of quality to the arrangement so I love it it's just this very different space that, that the band and vocalists and floor are both occupying and it's very cool I want to go back and listen to that again. Wow. So this is really a space where you can hear that the mix is a little bit bass heavy because here you have this beautiful classical guitar solo, acoustic guitar solo happening and it's really far back, at least in my ears. Now, we've talked about these headphones before. I've used them for a while. Maybe it's time to retire them. I'm open to that. I'm actually getting a new set of in-ear monitors and so maybe I will use those and just see if I get a cleaner sound so forgive me audio engineer who may have mixed this <laughs> mix engineer I, I don't think you probably watched this but maybe I'm not hearing everything I'm supposed to but if I were the guitarist I'd be a little bit mad if that was the final mix because I've just played my heart out and I'm really far back. In any case, let's keep going, see where this goes from here. Oh, how I wish for
Okay, this is my favorite version of Nemo. I love it. I love the space she is affording the song by taking it at a slower tempo. I love the instrumentation. I love what she's doing vocally. I love the very different spaces that her voice and the band are occupying. I'm, I'm basically deconstructing this whole song for you right now, but we're going to go back and listen to it again because it's that good. It's so incredibly beautiful. That moment right there was just incredible. I cannot wait to listen to this again. Let's see how this ends. Oh, my word. Wow. Okay, let's deconstruct this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of music one more time. Well, I can completely see why my viewer was telling me that this was his favorite song in the entire concert. This is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite song that I've heard from the concert so far. that I'm looking for when I listen to this arrangement is there's a gravity about it. The way it's the instrumentation is it's almost it feels march like in a way it's giving a nod to a march. She's got so much room to play vocally and to really bring forth the lyric in a fresh way. It's just delightful. Oh, how I wish for a soothing rain All I wish is to dream again My loving heart lost in the dark For hope I'd give my everything My flower withered between pages two thing about where Floor is right now in her career, her ability to do these solo concerts and to take these pieces of music and to totally transform them like she has this one. Something that's so well known by Nightwish fans, something that's well known by her own fans uh, in her own right as a soloist. She has got the agency to be able to do whatever she wants. And that has got to be the most wonderful feeling. People get a little bit possessive about their favorite song, their favorite band. They want to hear things exactly as they've always been done. Now I will say symphonic metal fans are open. They're more open musically than other fans that I've seen and worked with in this whole reaction video genre. I have been so impressed by them because they are open and maybe that's why Floor feels like she can do it, but nevertheless, it has to feel so freeing to be able to artistically come to a piece of music you've done as many times as she's done this one and reimagine it. Oh, how I wish for
loving what I'm hearing Floor do in this concert overall. I feel like she's really showing off her vocal chops and never more so than in this gorgeous moment right here. What's the big deal? That's not all she can do. She can growl, she can belt really high, she can use a lot of texture in her voice when she's doing more metal rock kinds of stuff. But there is a lot of technique required to be able to lean in and sing those straight tones with that kind of dynamic range. I want you to listen to it one more time again and just take a moment to appreciate the talent that is Floor Janssen. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Floor Janssen. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on yzo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, old friends, I think it's time that you and I parted. I'm not sure when my new headphones come in, but I'm thinking that this may be your last rodeo. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not listening to everything as perfectly as I would like to. Actually, it's interesting listening to it again through other speakers and I'm not hearing the things I heard before, so my apologies if I have made any missteps as far as what I was hearing in the mix. I'm gonna see if I can get this rectified. I may have another set of these Tascam TH02s or maybe I'll get my husband's really nice ones, um, which are a different brand altogether. <laughs> we shall see. But we will persevere. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye.